The Meathi River has been around for millennia. Its waters have always flowed from the hills in the north to the sea in the west. Indeed, the Meathi River has witnessed the history and transformation of Mumbai like no other. But for most of us, the Meathi was born on 26 July 2005, when a deluge, unprecedented in the history of the city, submerged the entire city. The Meathi River originates in the hills of the Sanjay Gandhi National Park to the north of Mumbai city, from the tailwaters of the Vihar and Pavai lakes. From here, it flows fast and clean, abundant with fish life, as it makes its way through Mumbai city and to the Arabian Sea. Let's take a journey and follow the Meathi River as it threads its way through the city of Mumbai. As the waters of the Pawai and Vihar Lake merge, the Meathi encounters the slums of Morarji Nagar. For the first time, sewage, raw, untreated sewage from these slums enters the waters of the Meathi and pollutes it. Still, a visibly clean Mithi flows out of Pawai and makes its way into Marol. The Mithi retains its brisk pace as it meets the industrial estates and more slums at Sakinaka, now carrying an additional pollution load of industrial effluence, the Meathi makes its way towards the Mumbai International Airport. Behind me there is uh, the newly opened T2 terminal of uh, the Chhatrapati Shivaji uh, International Airport in Mumbai. Uh, pretty much the pride of India today. The new T2 terminal of the Mumbai International Airport is a symbol of India's growth and ascendancy in the new world order. The Meathi flow along the edge of the airport, which itself is an encroachment on the environs of the river. It has pushed the Meathi River and bent it for its own expansion time and time again. As the airport has uh, progressed and expanded and gotten more and more world class, especially with uh, the new T2 terminal, what's remained in uh, a pathetic condition is the slums that surround this large airport. Uh, the airport is like an island within a sea of slums that surrounds it. And uh, through these slums flows the Mithi River. In fact, so grand are the expansion plans of the airport that at one point they decided that the Mithi River can even go under the airport runway. And that's what you're seeing behind me. The culvert. This actually is part of the airport runway which has been built over the Meathi River itself. And in 2005, when the, when the floods happened on 26 July 2005, uh, this area was a chronic uh, spot which, uh, which had choked up to a point that water was just not flowing through. A series of 90 degree bends and a change in the terrain and gradient slows the river down the Meathi River becomes sluggish as it reaches the halfway mark. South of the airport and up to the Bandra Kurla complex, the Meathi is assaulted with pollution. The famous tanneries at Dharavi are all based here. This is also home to Mumbai's famous recycling industry. While Mumbai generates upwards of 7,000 tons of garbage every day, a large portion of that is recycled by the city and its network of informal rack pickers and recyclers. As efficient as the system is, much of the rejects from the system make their way straight into the Meathi River in this sector.
other than the industries this area is completely overrun with slums it densely populated slums generating sewage which is going straight into the meathi river untreated 24/7 non stop as it makes its way towards the estuarine region the meathi river approaches the bandra kurla complex mumbai's new central business district much like the airport the bandra kurla complex also owes its existence to the meathi river indeed 220 hectares of the meathi river were reclaimed to create the bandra kurla complex also at the bandra kurla complex the meathi river meets an old friend its chief tributary the vakola nala has also snaked around the airport and joined the larger river the vakola nala itself used to be as large as 900 meters in some places but uh, this is probably its widest uh, point today and this is hardly 50 60 meters uh, in width and uh, the water quality in this nala is very very poor but uh, i i won't be surprised uh, to learn that it is far from being biologically dead uh, looking at the mangroves that are thriving or seemingly thriving even in this polluted water uh, gives us a lot of hope uh, that that we can uh, restore the river to its rightful place uh, in the ecology of the city as we know it today The Vakola Nala, unlike the Meathi River, relies almost entirely on sewage as its source of water. The sewage that comes from the slums which surround it. Despite the fact that the sea water flushes the Vakola Nala every day, its water still appears black because of the dominance of sewage. As the Meathi enters its estuarine breach, the Meathi makes its way through 200 hectares of mangroves, dense mangroves and mud flats. We are now in the Mahi estuary where the Meathi river coming from the north of Mumbai all the way from Burebli National Park meets the Arabian Sea uh, on the west coast of Mumbai city. Uh, behind me are thick mangrove forests. which has stood here for centuries together but are now under threat uh, these mangrove forests are part of the estuarine part of the meathi river the estuarine reach of the meathi river which along with the mud flats makes up no less than 400 acres of land mind you these 400 acres of land is right in the heart of mumbai city between the suburbs of mahim uh, bandra tharavi sayan kurla and almost chunabatti so it's in the heart of all these major parts of mumbai and it's such a precious resource but uh, very poorly understood by the city of mumbai and uh, quite abused while we see the mangroves on the outside many of us are completely unaware of the presence of beautiful large lakes on the inside of these mangroves and these are man made lakes these lakes were built for fish culture in very unique ways by the local fisher folk but many of them stand abandoned today there is a golden golden opportunity which might be a very small window it will get lost very soon we must preserve these mangroves the government must preserve the mangroves these large corporate houses must put in their best effort to preserve these mangroves uh, so that maybe it can it can get a semblance of its past glory This estuarine reach of the Meathi River was once a favorite fishing ground for the Koli fisher folk who have been here as the first inhabitants of Mumbai. Sadly, now decades of pollution and environmental degradation have resulted in a dramatic drop in both the diversity as well as the number of the fish that come and spawn here and live here. Chote tone kyun tikle daise 
हा तिकडच्या काय तर सर्व संपलेलं आहे मी बघितलंच एवढं प्रदूषण आहे का माणसाला उभं राहायला सुद्धा हे नाही हे तर तुम्ही आता बघता आता जरी तिथे काय असले खाड्या म्हणजे तुम्ही सांगता ते तर केलेलं बंधारे वगैरे बिचाऱ्याने पाजलेलं आता तिथे काय अशा पाण्यामध्ये काय टिकू शकतो The Meethi is surrounded by slums for most of its course where the urban poor predominantly employed in the informal sector live in inhumanely high population densities with abysmally low quality of life. Mari hote bachche log ko to chalte rehta hai kisi na kisi ke ghar pe to aisa kuch hote rehta hai. Abhi gaye the mere dono ladke bimar ho gaye the. Abhi tak dono ko abhi tak karja baki hai matlab 4000 rupaye abhi tak baki hai. Karja leke ilaaj kara tha abhi bhi 4000 rupaye baki. Kya ho gaya? The recycling industry in Mumbai is an asset, but its issues. a complicated and intricate a lot of waste that we generate is taken care of by this uh, illegal recyclers most of which are unauthorized so you know if that waste is not collected by these people imagine all that waste strewn all around our cities clogging our drains clogging our rivers so we must understand at some level that yes they are also doing some kind of an environment service where they are keeping our cities clean प्लास्टिक भर्ती चढ़ता आता है भर्ती कम होता जाता है ये जब भी सुबह में भर्ती खाली रहेगा तो माल मिलता है अभी भर्ती चढ़ने के टाइम भी आया अभी फुल भर्ती हो जाएगा तो कुछ नहीं मिलेगा मलेरिया हो जाता है मच्छरे काटते खारा पानी से बहुत बीमारी पकड़ता है पानी में से खाली प्लास्टिक पन्नी गोनी और क्या निकलता और क्या निकलेगा एक गोनी भरेगा तो 300 400 रुपए का बिक जाएगा लेकिन एक गोनी किधर मिलता है बीस पच्चीस जन आते हैं घर इतने चुनने वाले आते तो एक गोनी थोड़ी मिलेगा अ क्लीन फ्लोइंग रिवर इज एन एसेट टू एनी सिटी बट व्हेन इट्स वाटर बिकम्स डेंजरसली पोल्यूटेड इट बिकम्स अ हैजार्ड Now that we know what ails the Meethi, how can we unleash its potential and transform it into Mumbai's most beloved natural asset? The most important point, the only way you can do then is that you have to treat it before throwing it into the river. That's the only way to do it. There's no other way to do it. You have to. I mean, once it gets into the Meethi, you cannot be like doing different kind of technologies and thinking we'll do, you know, bio remediation and we'll do all the major thing is you have to stop untreated sewage, untreated effluents to flow into the river. जो भी है room का dust हुआ या building का dust हुआ या hospital का dust हुआ जो भी dust है वो जैसे डिम्सी एक जगह पे dumping कर रही है उसको वहाँ वाल मार के वो लोग चाहे तो एल पी जी रेडी बना सकते हैं जो कि बेस्टेज किया जाता है उसको गवर्नमेंट खुद पैसा स्पेंड करती है उस पर जबकि उससे गवर्नमेंट को इनकम होना चाहिए मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आई थिंक इज दैट टिल नाउ ऑल द एफर्ट्स इन द पास टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स हैव बीन वेरी मच लेड बाई ओनली गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट आई थिंक इट इज द नीड ऑफ द आर टू इन्वॉल्व द कम्युनिटी and uh, we need to make a kind of a multi stakeholder kind of a group which will monitor the progress on cleaning the meethi uh, create maybe small biodiversity parks around the space uh, involve the local community to uh, use 
the the local silt uh, for you know purification process so their employment can be also dependent on the river's purity that is there any vision for the methi's future must necessarily insist upon river banks being present along its entire 18 km length on both sides these river banks are envisioned as being at least 50 meters wide along the 18 km length giving mumbai 200 acres of brand new open space this large open space on both sides of the river the methi river park corridor we can have a humble beginning and take up all those portions of the river which have the river banks which have the open spaces and which can be converted into little miniature methi river park corridors this particular area has always been um, inaccessible because it was full of uh, muck and uh, undergrowth and uh, and i'm so happy that i've come here it's there's nothing fancy that has been done but the river bank has been sanitized into a good play area and all these kids have been playing here since we've uh, we've landed here and it's so good to see uh, open there's a new toilet which has come up here uh, the local representative mr anna malai has uh, has facilitated all this change and it's great to see so uh, more of this at a smaller local level piecing together the puzzle of the methi bit by bit by bit and i'm sure we can end up with something magnificent many parts of the methi river can be made accessible if we put nice pedestrian bridges elegant and aesthetically designed pedestrian bridges across the river several stretches along the methi river have been freed of encroachment local populations have begun using them as default open spaces and some recreational use is also visible During the monsoon the river is fed by the tail waters of the Vihar and Pavai lake but during the dry season there needs to be a water source that is identified to feed the river this can be achieved by increasing the height of the Pavai lake and allowing it to flush the river during the seasons when there is no rain the recycling industry is as much an asset to the city as is the river itself Many workers in this industry are subject to inhuman working conditions and working hours. The government needs to step in and facilitate a better recycling setup in this neighborhood. Perhaps the creation of a special recycling zone needs to be initiated by the MCGM and the MMRDA. A time will come when the waters of the Meethi River will once again flow clean and unhindered from source to the sea how we facilitate that change and how the city will interact with the river of the future will be determined by the choices we make today acha pani chi acha pani acha pani acha pani kare ke apne medan bedwo chale gaye